Hello everyone. Today I will talk about documenting Power Automate flows. It is required when we have to pass to someone the work that we've done for future maintain maintenance and improvements, uh, when handover is required, and for solution requirements control purposes. Usually workflows are documented in a form of diagrams and additional texts in uh, a text document and a spreadsheet with uh, additional details when necessary. In case of Power Automate, flow is already a diagram which is interactive and doesn't require another form of representation. So the best way to document it is to add textual information for ease of understanding um, and when we need to get back to it uh, for modifications or troubleshooting, it will be clear what is meant by every step of the process. In today's example, um, I will use the um, flow that is created for email notifications for documents that are due for approval. For example, important policies and procedures, uh, legal and compliance requirements, etc. So, um, in the previous session, I was um, demoing the workflow that uh, is document approval process. So, this flow is an addition to document approval process that um, sends notifications on a regular basis. Um, to the document owners in regards to the upcoming uh, approval required. So for this, we've got um, a document library which contains um, documents. And then there are three columns that are used in the document management. One is document owner, um, which is a person uh, document status, which is a choice, active, inactive, um, and then next review date. So we can set this next review date as part of our document approval process. Um, and then when it comes up and due for approval, we will send a notification. Okay, so this is our flow. Um, it's quite straightforward. So every Monday, so we start it every week. We need to um, select the items from the document library using this query. So um, we check the document status and the next review date is less than two weeks in advance. So that's the function that is used in this case. <coughs> it's here. So this one, get future time, two weeks. Then what we do is after the documents are returned, we do the, um, the mapping to return the, only the elements that we want. So in this case, we need uh, document owner emails. And uh, the value is the, the get items body, and then um, we just need the for every document owner element, we need that person's email. That's the value that we <coughs> put here. Then we create a variable, uh, which we will use later to um, create the table with the documents that will be sent in the email. And um, we're doing this little trick to get only the unique emails and not all the emails. So this is done by using a union function, which when merging, or not the merging, when unioning or concatenating two different sets of um, values, it will automatically takes out the duplicates. <coughs> so when we get an array of unique users' emails. 
what happens next is that we, uh, out of all these unique uses, we get the, for each email, we get only the right records. And then we create a table with uh, first the link to the document plus the file name and the date now uh, and the date when the next review date is so this is pretty straightforward so then we are creating this uh, modifying this string variable that we created before with our HTML text and then when it's all ready <coughs> we just basically send an email to the each person w with that text so the people are the owners so all the owners of the documents will receive this notification if their documents are due for approval and review so they have two weeks in our scenario to basically do the review and approval <coughs> all right so in because we are discussing documenting so first of all i will need to make sure that all this all the activities that I'm putting in the flow have enough information on the screen to be able to explain what they are. So for example, as I look here, uh, I be, will be able to tell straight away what are we doing and why. For this particular purpose, we can use two um, settings in the um, activity. So one is, uh, we, we, so this, you see, get names is actually out of the box functionality when we add this get items activity. So it just gives us the generic name. So what we need to do is always just say get documents for approval. In this case, straight away when we read this it, it is clear what we are doing in addition to that we add a comment so we say select documents from main library where status is active and Next review date is in two weeks or earlier. Right? So now if we expand that, we can see the comments here. Yeah, and we do this for every activity that we do. So we we get um, so we do select document owner emails so we do select document owner e emails from the previous action output And we do this for all our activities. Usually for apply each, because if we do next one, it will do apply to each, two, three, and etc. So what I uh, usually do is I call it loop and whatever types of objects we are looping through. In this case, it's users, so we loop users. 
you see like this one log current email value so it tells us not just compose statement that we are using but it tells us what are we doing so logging the value filter array here will tell us that we filter filter users array by current email get documents for so no no it's not users array it's um, documents by current user right so now you see because um, without this information even even the author of the flow can be confused like what are we filtering and why and uh, when we're renaming and then put the name obviously in front of us, um, it helps a lot. So in this case, what we've done, and we say so we save the flow. If there are problems, we just fix them. And then it's ready to go. So next time, uh, when you get back to this flow, uh, you can see what exactly happening for each activity and by itself is a very good form of um, dynamic documenting of the flow. Um, that's all for now. Um, if you are interested in um, viewing more videos on this channel, uh, please subscribe and um, and stay tuned for more interesting content.